Welcome back, dudes and dudettes, to all the mods, 8 Hardcore. Guys, I have some fantastic news. Last episode, we shoved an entire mob farm into one block, and we had the problem where it wasn't chunk loading, but in reality, it was. Look at this. The farm is now working. I've gone ahead and set it up at the new base here. So if we... Oh, it turned me around. If we come over here, yes. So I have the mob farms here. They're running. And then I have the mob grinders over here, and they're running as well, and it is actually working. Yes, so we're going to make this the, the wither killing one, and then I also moved the villagers here, so they are now getting us more mahau. Um, yeah, and then I also did a netherite stack upgrade on our backpack, so now we have 160... Uh, thousand, uh, yeah, 160,000 Mahau here. All of our totems are stacked, so it just looks a lot nicer and more organized. But uh, we're running into an issue with our new mob farm is that we only have access to the experience and we don't have access to any of the items. So that means this episode we're going to be working on wireless storage for Applied Energistics 2. We desperately need it. Okay, so how do we do wireless storage with Applied Energy 6.2? Now, it's definitely a lot more advanced than refined storage with just being a simple block. We need to get into um, Applied Energistics. We, let's see, where are you at? We need these guys. We need the Quantum Chamber. The Quantum of the Chambers. The Quantum Ring. Uh, it's going to require some logic processor, so we'll get those guys rolling. Uh, let's smelt up some of those and get the silicon going. We do have some redstone here, so that's good. Yeah, oh, we've got more than what we need, so cool. So these guys are going to be processing. Good, we're going to need a total... So we need two rings, and then each of these require four, so we're going to need quite a few of these. 33, that's a pretty good amount. That's pretty good. Oh. Maybe make a full stack of these, right? We need the Fluix dust. Well, don't worry. We'll automate this whole process here very shortly. So, yeah. Everything is going to be automated. That's actually more than we need for these guys because we only need one per. Uh, and we need a total of four. I did make a couple of dense cables. That's the perfect amount. Holy cow. Uh, we'll work on auto crafting here shortly uh, once we get one of these set up at the new base because I think I'm like I was originally going to move this whole setup over to the new base but I think I'm just going to link it up here because uh, we're, we're generating plenty of power we can definitely afford it um, and yes this does require a little bit of power okay we made eight of those that gives us two of those oh my we need a lot of these guys all right we need more fluix dust Some flukes. Oh, did I just make? I'm losing my marbles or something. Okay, so now we have one. We're halfway there. Seven. Good. Okay. Yep. So now we have. Oh, we're missing two actually. There we go. Yes. So now we have eight. Um, and then don't we need something in the middle? Am I forgetting that? We may need more. Let's set this up. I want to see about setting this up. So, temporarily, we can set it up over here. And the quantum ring, I believe it's like this. No. What, what goes in the middle again? Oh, is it surround? Oh, wait a second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we didn't need eight of these. We need a bunch of these guys. Oh, oh, okay. Well. Wow. Okay, now I believe after that we surround this and then we put this in the middle. Yes, okay. That is, that's it. So we need another one of those. Jeez, Louise. That I feel silly. Okay, so now that we have our brains attached to our head, mine is still debatable. Uh, we need to make the where are they at? I'll show you. We need to make this a singularity. Um, so we're gonna need a matter condenser and. 
I want to see. Can we use water? Item. Destroy the items. Hmm. Okay. I think we need a 64K. Well, that's going to take some crafting. Okay. Okay. I made three stacks of the 1K uh, storage components. So... We should be able to craft up a whole heck ton of these guys. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, quartz glass. Oh, just quartz. Hmm. I'm enrolling the help of the inscribers. Is there a faster way to make quartz dust? I mean, I think the only faster way is Let's see recipe. Yeah, it's to craft it like that. Got throw it in a crushing wheel. Ooh, a crusher. That's probably not the worst idea in the world because you could upgrade that really good with mechanism. We'll get into mechanism eventually. So, um, but yeah, that was lots of those. So let's see about making some glass. Perfect. Okay. Yes. So we have two stacks of the four Ks and we can make more, but I need to make more of the calculation presses. I thought I made enough. I made a stack of those and that clearly wasn't enough. Oh wow, we still have 139 1K ME storage components. That's a lot. Getting into the process of automating the 64 case, and I actually believe it goes up one more. Oops, um, check this out, 256K. Let's see, yeah, right here. And that says apply to logistics too, so I don't think that it's crazy, but yeah. Then we get into the AE2 additions. And how high can we take that? Okay, so 1024K is the highest one we can go. And it gives you 150 items rather than just 64. That's cool. Or 63. Okay, these are ready spaghetti. Throw those in there and some... Okay, so let's craft up some more of these 4Ks. And okay, now we are out of the 4Ks. We have just under three stacks. So then use is here. What is that? Super storage component? Mm. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got distracted. We wanna go to the 16, I have it here. 16K. Ran out of gold. Frick. All right, the 16Ks, and again, we're out of the top tier one. Frick, or the calculation press. I just need to make a bunch of these guys, I guess. But I mean, we technically have enough for a 64K, and we just need a calculation processor. So I guess we'll make one up here real quick. Um, you, you, and then we'll grab some redstone, and we can go bam, bam, bam. And we should be able to create a 64K right here. Okay, so this, I believe, goes in here. Yep, and now we need to put items into there. Um, I saw at one point you could use a sink for this. I want to see if we can do that, really. Um, that would be extremely helpful. Honestly, this is a bucket. There we go. We can fill it up. Okay, so I could be totally wrong in this, but we're gonna try it out just in case, because it would be extremely easy to do it that way. We do this. Take the thing. <gasps> it works. Oh my word. Okay, one, two, three. what? We're out of nuggets? What kind of shenanigans is this? Yeah, this is crazy. Two. I think I have, yeah, I know the rights in here, good. Well, okay, that is gonna make this. Okay, so here's the speed of just one of these guys. 
yep and we're gonna do this and this and we'll probably move it so we can do it faster put that here and that here that's moving that's moving real fast okay so cool thing is is that we can make more of these <laughs> that's what we're gonna do um bucket Sink. Yes. Okay, I think eight will suffice. Uh, we need a block because I want to put it one off the ground here, starting off. And boom, 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 boom. Oh, I have to move this. All right, and pipe, 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 pipe. pipe. Good, each of these is gonna get a netherite add-on eventually. Still moving pretty good. Okay, so this is with eight, oh my gosh, we're almost there. <laughs> I mean, if we need to make a lot of these. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wowie. Okay. Yeah, we need to make that. Because that. Wow. That is so fast. Holy crap. We've, like, literally automated it. Um... I think, I think I can just go ahead and remove this. We're gonna put a bunch, we're gonna get eight more um, upgrades. I'm gonna make eight more upgrades real quick. Okay, so each of these now has a netherite upgrade in it and look at how fast that is going. We already have six of these. That's way more than I think we'll ever need for the entire game. Oh my gosh, okay. So um, we need ender pearl dust. Shoot. Oh, I have I have killed a couple of these guys. Thank goodness. Okay. Wow. Oh, you can just put in an ender pearl and an inscriber. Jeez, Louise. Okay. So uses. We're gonna grab. Oh wait, we already have the ender dust. We might as well just make another one of those while we're at this and link up the new base. We can do that. Um, and then let's see, we need the tiny TNT. Okay, I'm over where we kill all the, uh, what you might call them, withers. So we go, I'm gonna take, I have to turn this guy off. Um, so we're gonna place the tiny TNT. We're gonna throw this and throw that. And then we light this guy on fire. And boom, there we go, we got the two. Perfect. So these two guys will link up together and we'll be able to get our items from the compact machine, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and name these and we're gonna call them Mob Farm. Always, I always name them so that way I can link them up if they ever, like if I ever need to move this guy or something. So we'll put this guy here. We need to connect this up with a cable. Um, hmm, I think I'm out of cables. Okay. I think it would be smart. Oops, dang it. and then item frame there we go so we're just gonna put a cable here oh wait I think it needs to be one of the big guys yeah okay so it needs to be centered and then this guy should turn on it's online device online perfect 
Okay, now I don't know if we need to supply the one in the compact machine with power. If we do, that's no problem. Let's grab a flux point. And I'm gonna grab an energy, whoa, that's weird. I'm gonna grab an energy acceptor. Ah, frick. We're good. All right, energy acceptor, we have a cable, we have this, good, okay. So let's head, do I have my Game Boy? We do. Let's head to the new base. It's on this side here. It's gonna be the mob farm. And I did forget some items, but that's okay. Uh, oh, cool, look at this. Okay, and then this in the middle, and then do you need power? I think it does. So, energy acceptor, there you are. Um, actually, let's just put this guy here and this here, and the flux point we'll put here. Network booting. Okay, and we don't wanna put any items in there. That's a little weird. Device online, perfect. Okay, I did forget one item. We need the external storage bus. Um, storage bus, perfect. All right, so here, and then one cable. Network booting, device online, perfect. So this guy is up and working. So if we do slash home, Let's check the experience. Okay, the farm is up and running, great. And all of our items are back. fan freaking tastic dudes and dudettes. Oh yeah, so let's go ahead and we're gonna get the other one set up as well. Um, so we need some more logic, that's good. Now all of my items are back. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, we're gonna find a way to set up the raw iron and raw gold processing so that we're getting uku buku mounts of those. Our wither skeleton skulls are back to farming. Like we've been making a lot of soul sand. Our glowstones back. Our redstones back. And the farm, all the farms are on except the warden. I feel like we're just gonna turn the warden on on a case by case basis because they don't die very fast. And we have a lot. We've killed twenty three hundred of them with the farm, which is good. So. Oh, all the speed upgrades are gone. Okay, I broke it, remember? Sorry. So it's pretty crazy. This is now drawing over 1.6. Let's see if we go to FE. Ah, uh, RF. So 1.6 thousand RF per tick. And we're generating close to 500,000 RF per tick with these guys. And then we also... Wait, did Dryas go in there? Yeah, Dryas is in. Well, no. Dryas still isn't in here because dry ice is negative 32 degrees. So once we get that, the dry ice in here at negative 32 degrees, this will start doing a lot better. But yeah, this is, we're not even close. I have the, I, I did make the two other, oh, let me show you, I'll just, I'll show you. We're making the reactor rooms here. Um, so if we come over here and go down. Yeah, so I have two nitro reactors here. Um, that are gonna be producing power. So I'm gonna put the other one here and here, and this is where all of our power is gonna be coming from and generating. So uh, we might end up running a cable down here uh, for all of the exporters, but I might end up putting another quantum link chamber because um, that seems to be really cool. But, oh, did I show you guys the crafting area that we're gonna be working on soon? So yeah, this is the Lumius glass, so it emits light, so it's really cool. And then we're gonna be putting all of our crafters up here in a cool configuration, so, and then there's another Lumius glass. That will be direct access to the sky. Um, I'm not gonna put anything above that. That's gonna be the top of it. Uh, but yeah, we are, we're gonna have a lot of fun. And I'm thinking of, like, we'll have an elevator in each one of these, and there's gonna be a ring going around with more rooms in here all, on all sides. This is gonna be duplicated on all of these sides too. But yes, let's go ahead and get that other one created so we can link this system up here to all of our items, and we can just build here whenever we want. Okay, so let's have a wee look, say here. 
So we gotta make one more of these. We're gonna need some tiny TNT. Um, that's super easy to make. Uh, we have all the items for that. Gonna make it real quick. All right, so there we go. We have, oh, I need levels. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna do this cool thing where we cut back to it, but oh, what is going on? Come on. Cool, so sky base. Um, I think we're gonna put that in the ground actually uh, because I think yeah, right here we have a three by three area. And we're gonna put glass above it. So yeah, it'll look cool. Um, okay, so it's gonna look a little bit silly. We're, we're, we're gonna put it here and then we're gonna put some Lumius glass over it so you can still walk over it. Actually, I don't think it should be Lumius glass. Um, I think it should just be normal, normal glass. So yeah, that way we can see it check on it and it'll still be okay but yeah let's go ahead and get that guy set up here um at, whoop, at ae2 okay so we've got four of them so we do need quite a few more we got two of these so we don't need to make any more uh, okay so now we can make a couple more of these guys uh that's the perfect amount holy cow okay great so the cool thing is, is that most of our th our stuff, I think is actually here. Like we should have a connection into our ME system right away. Boom, that goes in, sky base. Device online, perfect, okay. So now we cover that. We can put the water back here. I did take it out. Boom. So now essentially it's the same, but we can now just see into there which is a, a little goofy looking, but hey, it, it works. Um, yeah, now we go to the sky base. I'm trying to think. I really do think we should just put it here. Might not be the best idea. I click that, okay, sky base. Now does that connect in? Device online, holy cow. Yep, okay, it's mad. It does not like that it's connected in four different spots. That is okay. Um, yes, I think we can get away with it. I don't want it directly next. If we go here. Yeah, this one's just gonna be, it's gonna be like right in your face here. Uh, we may end up moving this in the future, honestly. Can I even see it? Oh. Nope, I can't even see it. Okay, now there we go. Now we just need to connect it up with a cable. Okay, got some cable here. So all we need to do is that. Oh, I see the problem here. Yeah, so, hmm. It's the ME controller. There's two of them. Yeah, honestly, that, believe it or not, that's gonna work. Um, where did all of our items go from this guy? Device online. Huh. We may just need to move this to the new base. If we're gonna make, because we've essentially just uh, made the new sky base the hub for all of our items. I think we should add in the hub. Um, okay. 
mob farm. And we can just do this for now. That should bring it online. Okay, device online. Yep, there we go. Look at that. So all of our items are now accessible here in the sky base. We need to configure them um, like so. But yeah, these are now fully working. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. We don't have to go home to get our items to, to do work over here at the base. Dang, that's really cool. So now let's head on back to the base. And yep, we have all of our items here as well. So I'm looking for a facade, cable facade. There we go. And now shebang, looks great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. We got wireless storage, well, linking of storage. Anyways, I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Take care, peace out.